Are y'all scared to open these? Okay, I deserve that. <laughs> semester and she wanted to see what Asheville is like for the art scene and I was going there anyway so I'm heading back to Alabama and it's on the way so um yeah we are both heading to Alab to Asheville we're gonna meet up at Starbucks get some coffee hopefully wake up and see what we're gonna get into today it's like noon right now I think I'll be there at like two something um but yeah, so today's a good day. The weather's fine. Lars in the back chilling. I do know that I want to go ahead and say this out loud that I want to get a new van this year. I would love to get a new van this year. So far, I've been doing full time van life, full time for a little over a month. Um, I've been doing van life since September of 2022. And I think that. I definitely want to get a new van this year. I'm finally starting to, uh, you know, decide what I want with this space. And I just know I'd love to be able to stand up because I need that space. And also more space to cook and like more space for Lars because he takes up, he's so small, but he takes up so much space. Like having him just like here, he takes up so much space. Also, I think I'm gonna um, try to teach him how to use the toilet because he's very good at tricks. He learns tricks in like a day. Not saying using the bathroom is a trick, but I feel like, cause like there are cats that can use like toilets um, and there's like a toilet training kit you can buy for your cat. And so when I get my new van, I wanna get like a toilet, a composting toilet. And I wanna buy that, that training kit and teach Lars how to use the actual bathroom because I'm tired of smelling kitty litter and stuff and that's that's not fun that's not fun at all <laughs> that's like honestly that's the worst part about doing van life in this van the worst part about doing van life in this van is having Lars using the bathroom right next to me every time and he always does it whenever I try to eat whenever I cook food he's like chilling when I'm going to sit down to eat, he decides that's when he wants to use the bathroom. So, no, we're not doing that. We're going to get a bigger van to where there's more space for both of us to exist. And I'm going to teach him how to use a toilet. That is my goal for this year. 100,000 subscribers, new van, and to teach Lars how to use a human toilet. So, yeah. Back to Asheville driving. I am here. <laughs> oh, after a three and a half hour drive, I am here in Asheville. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna show y'all. <laughs> Asheville, North Carolina at Starbucks. About to go get some coffee or tea or something. Already I'm in love with like the architecture of this place. The buildings. It's really given like, I don't know, like like, I don't know, like Ireland or like 
something like that. The gardener's cottage, like everything's giving like Europe, like Ireland, Scotland, that kind of vibe, which I love, I dig that vibe. So I'm excited to check this town out. I'm not sure how many days I'm gonna be here, but we're gonna get some fun stuff going. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go say what's up to Gabby. She's been here for like 20 minutes waiting for me because I drive slow, er than her. What's up, Gabby? Hey. Welcome to Asheville. Like you've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> parking lot that's my friend right there he's taking a nap because she stayed up all night cleaning her dorm and i'm just playing with lars tonight we're gonna um car camp car slash van camp at cracker bro because we want to go to the national forest but it's like 37 minutes away but also tomorrow we want to check out like downtown and stuff which is like 40 minutes away from the National Forest. So we thought might as well stay at the Cracker Barrel. So we'll be close to downtown tomorrow. We'll check that out, check out some cool stuff. And then in like the later afternoon, we'll um, go try to find some free dispersed camping to Boondock. So that's the plan. Um, it's like five, almost six right now. So we'll probably head to uh, Cracker Barrel in a little, little bit, no rush. Took a minute to clean, but cleaning your space is so important to van life. Clear space, clear mind, clear spirit, all that good stuff. All right, time to feed Lars. <laughs> so we decided to park at Cracker Barrel just so we could be close to downtown to go exploring tomorrow. Um, I got some dinner from Walmart, just like a little chicken wrap and a uh, apple walnut salad. So I'm gonna eat that and then get ready to go to bed. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, astronauts. So uh, we spent last night at the uh, Cracker Barrel parking lot. What's up, Bubby? And uh, right now I'm just editing some videos and stuff like that and uh, i'm not really sure what we're gonna do today i would actually love to play tennis if you guys have seen um the youtube join or patreon vlog i was playing tennis and i didn't realize that i was actually kind of good at it so it's like i think 
I want to play tennis a lot more. Over the summer, I would like to like do a lot of exercise, like outdoor sports kind of stuff. Um, like I love beach volleyball. I love swimming. And I just realized that I love tennis. And of course, hiking. And I would love to get a bike at some point. I would love if like a bike, like the foldable bikes, like if a, like if a company reached out to me to sponsor, that would be really awesome because I miss biking. I'm not sure if, uh, if you guys know this about me, but I enjoy biking a lot. Um, I used to be on a mountain bike trail, uh, mountain bike team, sorry, on a mountain bike team uh, when I was in high school. And um, when I was doing conservation work, I also worked on mountain bike trails and stuff like that as well. So yeah, um, yeah, good morning. <laughs> I'm going to see what Gabby's up to, and then uh, we're going to get our day started. Quick question for the residents of Asheville. Why do I drive like that? Seriously, why do y'all drive like that? It's kind of ridiculous. Right when we got here, there was, I kept hearing horns blaring and like almost accidents happening. And I saw this guy like have a full on like road rage freak out. We were there for 20 minutes <laughs> and I saw all this stuff happening. And people here drive really aggressive and are really rude on the road. I was at a left and the light turned green and a guy honked at me and I was like, all right. So I started going and while I'm like making the turn, he honks at me again. <laughs> I've never, and I've, and I've driven in New York, in New York city and I've never experienced like rude driving like I have here. This is like actually kind of insane. Why do I drive like that? Let me know. I cannot believe <laughs> I, I I knew there would be a TJ's Trader Joe's in this town. Candy Ginger. Now if y'all been watching this channel, you know that I love Trader Joe's. So today has been already an amazing day. It just got started. <laughs> I've got plantain chips. I like spicy. I have to say that I don't like spicy stuff, but whenever I get stuff, it's always spicy. Oh my goodness. I also got dark peanut butter cups. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Wow. So we're about to head to um, Planet Fitness to work out and take a shower and hit the massage. And then we're going to go to Starbucks to treat ourselves after a morning, early afternoon of exercise. Cause we've been like up and at them all day playing tennis. We actually met this couple there and we played a group tennis we played fours it was really fun tennis is definitely like a new obsession for me i'm gonna get super into that tennis beach volleyball hiking swimming 
and once I'm once I get like really good at swimming, I'm gonna get back to surfing because I used to surf, but I could tell that I'm just not good. I'm not a strong enough swimmer to be out there in the ocean. It's just way too dangerous. But um, off to the gym. left the uh, Planet Fitness. I'm not sure where we're going tonight. I know we're gonna go grab some food from somewhere. We're gonna grab stuff to cook. And then it's pretty late. Time kind of got away from us. I was hoping to find a parking, like a boondocking spot before the sun went down, but it's already about to be 7 p.m. So who knows, we might end up doing Cracker Barrel again or something else, we'll see. But I'm starving. Tennis and then weightlifting and treadmill. I'm hungry. <laughs> All I ate today was uh, that Cliff Bar actually and a couple of those plantain chips. So yeah, it's definitely time to get some meat soon. Let's go. that crime <laughs> that just took <took> place. <laughs> Brenda. Officer, it was hard. <laughs> I was like, are I you? got it on video. Are you going to stop? <laughs> no. No, you're no. not. Astro van sighting. Got my new shirt. Walmart. It was only $1. <laughs> Walmart Fresh. All right. So we decided to head to a dispersed camping location that we found on iOverlander. Um, I was hoping to get there before dark, but as you can see, it is nighttime, but it's all good. Um, hopefully we get there, find a spot, because we're gonna make pizza and salad for tonight. And then like play some cards, stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully we make it there and find somewhere to park. I'm really digging <laughs> this like windy road. Oh yeah. So we just parked in some random like parking area. I'm not sure if we're allowed to park here overnight. It didn't say no parking or anything. It said public parking, actually. There was a group of um, mountain bikers who just left. Uh, they like just drove off. I don't know if we're allowed to stay here overnight, but I guess we're gonna find out. We got some stuff to make pizza, so I'm excited to make some pizza. And uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna see if we get the uh, dreaded knock. Hopefully we don't, but all right, <laughs> wish us luck. All right, so I'm gonna try to turn this into a Detroit style pizza dough. I'm gonna start by buttering the pan with this Kerrygold garlic and herb butter. Recording. Are y'all scared to open these? Okay, I deserved it. I was about to, <laughs> I was about to be like, yeah, I used to be scared to open these, but then, you know, I grew up. Nope, that was terrifying. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. I can't say it. You're not scared. They can't say it. You ain't scared. Watch this. Kablam. Okay. So, I'm going to put this in the pan. Chop up the pepper rice. I can do it. Are you already fixed? Did you already add cheese? No. To what? The salad? Oh, yeah, definitely. So I was like, that good. But then I was like, nah. Not the hey, I don't discriminate on Parmesan, to be honest. So you, you like the powder? Because I like that. I like all of them. I like In fact, powder. I like the powder more. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say I like the powder more. I like the powdered Parmesan on my spaghetti. Like, I'll pile it up on my pus... pus no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Once you hit the P, you can't take that back. You already saying Pascetti. You might as well just finish it off. I said, oh, my Pascetti. I'm home. That's funny. I better crunch the numbers. Look at that. Huh? Look at oh. that. Mm. That looks about done. Yeah, that's so cool. It's so greasy and cheesy. Tell me the same, the most beautiful pizza you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> I don't know what time it is, but it's very dark, but we made the pizza. Feel good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is good pizza. I tried to make a good um, Detroit style. I think I did a decent job. This is really good though. Very delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and then we're gonna like watch some movies or some TV or something and then get to bed so we can get up early in the morning and explore this place in the daytime. Good morning, Bubby. <laughs> you look so angry. <laughs> All right, it's time to get up. So the place we parked last night, there's like, more cars now. There was none last night.
made it to the Blue Ridge Parkway. And it is beautiful here. <laughs> Look at that. Blue Ridge Parkway, baby. It's, it looks like a painting, exactly. It looks like a painting. Like a like a Van Gogh painting or something. Very um folk art. It looks like folk art, like a folk art painting. I wanna jump down there and just roll down that hill. <laughs> Although that's not just <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Finding your purpose in life Not so hard if you just try 